Hey guys, it is me, and we are in a different location. And for the next, I don't know how long it's gonna take, I will be studying for the CPA exam. Um, you may not know this, but I have graduated from college about a little bit less than three years ago. I graduated in 2008. Um, I'm an accountant. And um, for most, I would think for most accountants, they would like to go on to the next level and become a CPA. For you guys that are not in the United States, CPA stands for a Certified Public Accountant. And um, I guess they get special perks. You definitely do get um, better pay compared to somebody that is not certified. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do um, the job. But there are certain things that only a CPA can do, um, or he or she doesn't have to do, like uh, preparing taxes. You don't have to have a certain type of, you don't have to take a test or be a certified tax preparer or, or something like that. As long as you have your CPA, you are qualified to prepare people's taxes and sign your name on their taxes as their preparer. Um, but put that all aside, I just wanted to say that this is the area that I will be personally sitting at to study for it. It's a really hard exam. It has four parts and um, I will Probably, I'm hoping that my videos won't slow down, but if they do, this is the reason why, and now you know. So, the other day, I had posted a video talking about e.l.f. and what my favorite e.l.f. products are. I don't want to go into, this is what I bought, I'll tell you what I think about it. These are the items that I have bought for the last, um, I've been buying e.l.f. for about two years now. Um, and I learned about it here on YouTube and these are items that I have either repurchased, bought multiples of, or will repurchase when I run out. So let's get started. Um, yeah. So I have brought a little baggie full of stuff that I've bought. So I'm just going to go in here and pick. First, the Elf High Definition Powder. Um, I bought it because I didn't want to fork out the money for the Makeup Forever. I've used it, so pardon the dirtiness. It comes with a puff, and my puff is dirty as well. Mm. And it comes with a sifter, and this is what it looks like. I don't know how many times people have shown this to you. You get quite a bit of product. I've had this for over a year now. and. What you do, for me, what I do is after I have put on all my makeup, I like to, um, I personally like to tap out some of this on the lid, take a puff, take this puff, and kind of just dab like here, 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 and take my, uh, like a complexion brush or a kabuki, a big old fluffy kabuki, and just kind of, you know, swirl it in, and it just sets my makeup, and I just, I just feel like it just, it makes the look complete. Um, it's great. Um, there's reviews on YouTube comparing this to the Makeup Forever, and even people like, uh, Gina Bina Wina, I think. I'm sorry if I, I'll correct it if I, you know, get it wrong, but she has compared different types of HD powders, and even though this isn't a highest ranking compared to Makeup Forever's, this still, in her opinion, this still beats out Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever is really expensive. This is only $6 on eyesupspace.com. I'm not sure if you can buy it at your Target store. Um... So yeah, oh, in the United States you can buy e.l.f. products in Target stores. Um, it's not the complete line, but there are a lot of different products 
there's a whole section in there which is pretty neat and they have limited edition stuff too um, there at Target now stores may vary and selections may vary so my next product is going to be the Kabuki brush their Kabuki face brush this is what I was holding um, in that video and I absolutely love it this is also from their studio line this I believe is five or six dollars and I believe it's just dyed at the top and it's dirty right now I absolutely love it it is a synthetic brush but you cannot tell that it is synthetic at all. Well, you can tell it's synthetic, but it is so soft, and it is so... I wouldn't say it's the most dense, but it's pretty dense. And for $5, it's amazing. It is great for your mineral. It is great for, like I said, I use this with this to swirl in the stuff. And I absolutely love it. I think it's, you know, if you don't have a kabuki, if you like to collect the kabukis, this is definitely something that you got to try. It is my friend's. She just, like, takes it. And, of course, you know, this is before I clean it. And I'll clean it afterwards. She'll find it and she'll just start petting it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, kabuki brush. Great deal. Next. Um, I guess we'll just talk about brushes. The powder brush. The flat top powder brush. Also part of the studio line. And, uh, this, this is like, awesome. It is perfect, perfect for mineral foundation. Perfect. You just tap your mineral into the lid, swirl it, buff it in your face. Perfect. I have multiple of these. I think I have three of these brushes. I have used one just as like a, a blending out brush. I have one just for liquid foundation. Oh, it is amazing with liquid foundation as well. Same concept. You just kind of dab it in there buff it into your face works like a dream you don't have to use your fingers it's super soft um, and like I said mineral foundation is really good if you got um, some people on here and even I have it personally I have the Sephora mineral brush I think it cost about $28 and this works almost just as good and it's only three dollars compared to twenty eight dollars at Sephora so and I believe they at least in my target they sell this brush so definitely check it out three dollars you won't regret buying it one downside I will say about it is when I first initially bought I think this is my original brush one of my brushes the ferrule came loose and yeah that was not cool is this one of them i keep on missing like thinking is this one of them i don't think so next also from the studio line i know i've been talking about the studio line a lot studio line is um they're more premium stuff it ranges from three five three to i think like eight or nine dollars now <laughs> when it first came out it was just three and this is the small angled brush. I don't know if you can tell. It is amazing. It is amazing. It is great for lining. It's not, I don't think you're going to be able to see, but it's, it's not so thin, but it's not really thick either. It washes nicely. I don't know how many times I've washed this, but it still keeps its shape. And it is just really, really nice. Let me show you another favorite product and I'll show you how it works. This is the eyebrow kit. And I have it in medium. I think I might have, well, I have black hair. This is the wax. And this is the powder. 
and it comes with a mirror and basically um, I think it came with a brush I lost it though so let me show you with the powder how precise this is so I got some on the brush and like look that is so nice it's it's not you can say oh it's a fat line but it's great for filling your eyebrows it's great for smudging um, eyeshadow underneath on your lash line on your bottom lash line just really great and yeah like you saw that's what medium looks like I don't necessarily use the gel but it's there the gel looks like the gel looks like that I love it I think it's great it's only this particular product is only three dollars as well and so yeah next we're gonna talk about these two brushes these are from the regular line and this is the professional blending eye brush and this is the eyeshadow brush this is like the most popular brush there is it is great for your highlight it's great for all over if you use it right here it is great for blending it is a great all-around brush you can just use this one brush to do your whole eye um, this right here is a dome shaped brush it's great for blending great to put in your corner and blend it out now this is a little bit um, on the more firm side so you get a more precise blending so it's great for your crease right here next as you guys have already seen so from so many people is their uh, blush and bronzer this peachy pink with gold sparkles and this brown um, be careful with it it's really pigmented it can make you look muddy if you don't know how to use it correctly that's all I gotta say about it. If you wanna know more, there's other people that have reviewed this and I think that's efficient enough. This is underrated. Eyelash curler. I don't think mine's a little dirty. It is a dollar. I know it looks like it came from their studio line, but their studio line actually looks like they're regular like a regular eyelash curler. It has this right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but it causes the spring action and so you have more control you put your, your of course your index and then your middle thumb and it is amazing it works for my eye shape one thing I maybe just like am just not really good at curling my eyelashes so I have to use this mini one this one is great for the corners the outer corners of your eye perfect for that because for some reason on this eye I just can't seem to catch those lashes and so I curl with this first and then I curl the rest of my lashes just for this eye I just use this for this eye and this is from their studio line like I said it looks like a regular curler and oh, so cute and what's amazing about this is not only do you get the curler with the little silicon thing right here you get an extra one of these so this I've had this for so long and it was only a dollar and I picked up another one at Target on clearance for like 70 cents ridiculous so let's talk about the blush I have it in peach cane this is what it looks like um, for those of you that are scared to just, you know, take your powder and go in like that, this is extremely buildable. You can put it as, you know, maybe a highlight, you know, right here, or you could build it up to be a blush. Um, eye primer. 
Now I have not tried their dollar one, but this is my backup of their mineral one from their mineral collection. This is what it looks like. It kind of resembles um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, but you can actually see it. <laughs> it comes with doe fit applicator, like that. It kind of smells like frosting. <laughs> it's, I believe, $3. It works great um, for $3. Three more items, and we'll go with this. Another studio line. I like their studio line so much. It's so affordable. The stuff is more premium, and it just works great. This is their under eye concealer and highlighter. I love their highlighter. It comes with a doe foot applicator. It's this much product, and you just hit your highlight points, blend it out with your finger. It has no kind of shimmer. It just it really just brightens your face and then for those light days I think I have this in light glow light and you just put it on blend it out with your finger it's for more like if you have slightly dark circles and set it and you're done then um, I have the hyper shine gloss and as you can tell I am almost done with this. This is in the color Vixen. It is like putting candy on your lips. Not necessarily, it's the look of putting candy on it. Don't eat it. <laughs> but what you do, it's like the Stila where you just twist the cap, the product will come out and you just brush it on. It has like a sweet minty taste to it. It's not it's sheer but it's still somewhat pigmented it's not sticky and it's only a dollar it's from their dollar line so check out their hyper shine gloss and the thing that gets criticized so much but i love for the value and for what it does you guys know i've talked about the fact that i am very oily skin and i just love these these are the oil blotting sheets this is the new packaging and it has tea tree oil and it has uh, other things in there to help absorb your oil now people have said well I have to use two and blah 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 if you think about it if you have to use two and the clean and clear ones are 50 sheets and these are 50 sheets that means you're using two of these packages for two dollars now last time I checked, the clean clear ones are $4, so you're still coming out better with these, and they work fine. I mean, I am seriously oily. You can, I know you're not supposed to mess with your face, but on days I could literally, because I have nails, scrape along my face, and I will have like oil underneath all my nails. It's disgusting. Like literally, you could, you literally could fry something on my face that's how oily I am and this works great it's only a dollar if you buy it on their site I love to buy it on their site when there's a coupon code and you're literally buying this for less than a dollar with shipping amazing stuff so that's it if you guys have any questions want a further review on any of this stuff um, comment message me and I will do a more thorough review thanks so much for watching and have a great day